Hello, today's topic, we're gonna to talk about biohacking. First of all, let's talk about what is biohacking. When we talk about biohacking, we're talking about how can we influence our internal and external self so we can show up as our best self now. Most of you have probably seen me with, with Dave Asprey or Jim Quick at the Biohacking Conference where we have biohackers from all over the world coming together where they measure their body and their performance and people ask, Patrick, what are the best biohacks that I can do? What are the three top biohacks? And number one is, I believe waking up in the morning, having a good morning routine, and that includes starting some form of meditation. Of course, we have brain tap, and you can use the AM programs to upregulate your nervous system and balance out the brain with something called SMR training. We also call it digital coffee because it stimulates that brain wave that has to do with cognition and focus. And we need that first thing in the morning to get the brain ready to go, get it out of the sleeping mode, and take you from an exhausted nervous system to an energized one. Number two, the number two thing that I think is most important is to ground our body. Most people don't realize that when we're in our environments with all the electronics we have around us, we're absorbing that into our system. Our bodies actually should be at zero point voltage, but most people are running around with about three volts of energy or more circulating through their system, interrupting their electrical system. The easiest way to get rid of that is take your shoes off, walk outside in the morning and get some morning sun and ground that into the earth. It's gonna be magical for you. Now number three is intermittent fasting. In the morning, don't get up right away and eat. Give your body time. These bodies that we have are actually over 200,000 years old genetically. So these bodies are designed to hunt and gather. We didn't get up and have a, a five course breakfast. What we did was we'd get up and go hunting and gathering and maybe we would eat one meal, maybe two meals a day. Most people are eating way too much food. So what I recommend is the three hacks. Number one, you wanna get up in the morning, get your brain right by tuning it into that alpha beta frequency to get it going, engage the brain and balance it. Number two, you're gonna get outside, get some earthing, get some sunlight. Number three, you're gonna to start to do some intermittent fasting. Now, if you have blood sugar problems, obviously you're gonna to have to talk, talk with your doctor and make sure that's covered. But most people can go for longer periods of time. For instance, if you stopped eating at eight o'clock the night before, you could easily make it till 12, one o'clock in the afternoon. And you're gonna close that window so your body can burn fat. Our brain needs fat for fuel. And if it's trapped in the body, it's stored energy, but we're not having access to it. To get access to it, we need to go at least four hours without solid food. And if we can do that at night, where we do the fasting at night, we get up in the morning and we have four hours without it, we're tapping into those fat stores. It's gonna give you energy like you wouldn't believe. And make sure while you're doing that, you're drinking plenty of water. We need to keep the body flushing it out. And then when you go to eat your meals, you're gonna eat healthy, vibrant meals. Now I want you to share and like this because you could be the source of somebody getting help. People out there, if you have the question, probably 10 or 15, maybe even 100 other people have that question. So please comment below, like and share this video. We're, our mission is to better a billion brains and we need your help to do that. So please help us share the love, spread the wealth. Let's get our brains working together and make a better planet together. Thank you.